today we are going to talk on resilience and well-being. Resilience and well-being. That's the discussion for this evening. So uh, before we get into that, I would like to let you know uh, just a little bit about my background. Um, I'm a resilience coach. Uh, I'm also a registered uh, social worker with uh, extensive experience in Finland and in the UK. I have over 13 years or more professional experience working as a social services coordinator with adolescents. And uh, in Finland, I remember I used to work there as a unit resettlement manager, uh, working with unaccompanied minor uh, refugees and asylum uh, uh, seekers at the Finnish Immigration Service. So um, I have some, some knowledge and expertise in providing life-changing support to, to young people in particular. Uh, my current role as a case manager with, with uh, the youth offending team in a local government area uh, in the southern part of England. Um, I work with, with, with young people aged 10 to 17 who have uh, become involved in, in the criminal youth justice system. So in a way, I encourage them to be good people of the society. You know, the youth are our future. They are, they are very important uh, part of the society. So I work with young people to prevent them from getting into crime and, and any antisocial behavior. That's what I do, you see. That tells you that I have a tremendous passion for supporting people and their families to ensure that they, they thrive, to ensure that they flourish. How do I do that? By making a conscious, I encourage them to make a conscious, uh, deliberate, determined effort. Um, so I strongly believe that the battle is in the mind. The battle in life is in the mind. And that's why one of my favorite quotes is, when life knocks you down, you better land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. I got that from Les Brown, who is one of my, my mentors. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So let's get into um, business for tonight. Um, what is resilience? What is resilience? Um, we have a handful of definitions of resilience, right? I've just picked a few, and amongst those, I have an interesting one. That is one of my favorite. So first of all, resilience is um, the psychological strength to deal with stress. Psychological strength to deal with setback. Psychological strength to deal with, with crisis, right? And we will also find out from our research that Resilience is the ability to recover from or to adjust easily to misfortune or change. Ability to recover from, ability to adjust easily to misfortune or change. Resilience is also known as, as the mental processes and behaviors that, that people use to, to protect themselves from, from the harmful effects of the things that stress them otherwise known as stressors, right? Um, it's the ability to adapt and flex, right? To the obstacles that, that, that life continuously presents. The ability to adapt, ability to be flexible to the obstacles that life continuously presents. But there's one definition of resilience that catches my attention. It's the mental reservoir of strength that people can call on in times of need. The mental reservoir of strength that people can call on in times of need to carry them through without falling apart. Mental reservoir of strength that people can call on in times of need to carry them through without falling apart. That's my favorite definition of resilience. Mental reservoir. There is something within us that we can always tap into when things fall apart. Let's proceed. Types of resilience. There are various types of resilience. For the purpose of this conversation, I will limit it to 
just four different types of resilience. All right. We have um, um, the psychological resilience, psychological resilience. And this is the ability to mentally or emotionally cope with a crisis or to return to pre-crisis status quickly. Psychological resilience somehow has a connection with emotional resilience. You know, emotional resilience is the one that uh, a person can tap into realistic optimism, you know, even when dealing with a crisis. Meanwhile, psychological resilience is the ability to mentally or emotionally cope with a crisis or to return to pre-crisis status quickly. Right? So, um, we've seen two types of res resilience here. The second one is, uh, sorry, the third one is physical resilience. Physical resilience is, is, is the body's ability to adapt to, to challenges and recover quickly. I like that, recover quickly. The quickly part of it, I enjoy that. You know, the body's ability to to adapt to challenges and recover quickly. And I have the last part of, of, of the types of resilience. Remember, this is not an exhaustive list. There are other, other types of resilience, but let's consider the last one, which is community resilience. Community resilience. The ability of groups of people to respond to and recover from adverse situations.